of things. It is a demonstration of the uh, demonstrating how to make a simple battery. But uh, what what is it? Uh, are we talk, first of all, are we talking about the cell? The cell is a chemical device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy. Uh, we also have it that uh, two or more cells make up a battery. So the first of all. I uh, will be introducing my materials. I have a major cylinder here filled with water. I have sodium hydroxide pellet here. I also have battery batteries where I'll be getting the electrodes. Uh, because if you, if you open this uh, laptop battery, you should have a roll like this. You have having a roll. This is a copper. This is a copper sheet. It's a copper sheet. You can get copper electrodes from this as well. Then you can get aluminium from this uh, foil paper. All right. So let's uh, get uh, uh, so to be able to make a very good uh, cell of battery. There are some rules that you must obey. All right. So first of all, this is a beaker, and this is uh, water and uh, sodium hydroxide here. Okay. This is a base. Uh, you insert electrodes into it. Then you connect to a bulb, but I'm going to use a LED light. Okay. So this is the symbol for LED light. I'm going to use a blue one. These are the electrodes. So this side is positive, so this side will be copper. I'm using copper electrodes and aluminium will be the negative electrode. So negative to the negative part of the LED light and positive part of the copper to the uh, positive part of this uh, of, of, of the diode. Right. So one thing to bear in mind is the, the two electrodes must be of uh, different metals and also obey the electrochemical uh, series. This one, the chem uh, chemical series, uh, uh, you also talk about uh, uh, electropotential. Okay? Uh, because uh, in the electropotential uh, system, when we talk about ele electropotential, we are talking about the potential set up by uh, hydrogen and uh, Another element in contact with these uh, ions, with these ions. All right, so that is electro potential. So with the uh, uh, knowledge of electro potential, which you can browse up, you will be able to look for suitable metals. Okay, for me, I'm using aluminium. I'm also using copper. Here is the electrolyte. The electrolyte could be of, it could be a salt, uh, also could be an acid, also be a base. Right, but in this uh, particular experiment, I'll be using sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Alright, so that's it. Having gotten that, we move to the experimental uh, part. The first I'll be doing uh, a little a cell, a cell and uh, this is copper electrode. This is going to serve as my copper electrodes, and this is also going to serve as my uh, aluminium electrodes. So the aluminium electrode, uh, going by the electrode potential, will serve as my negative electrodes. The aluminium will serve as my negative electrode, while the copper serves as my positive uh, electrode. So first of all, I'm going to introduce. Uh, this is water, and I'm going to introduce some uh, sodium hydroxide into the solution. Okay, sodium hydroxide pellet into the solution. I'm going to allow it to dissolve, and uh, it dissolves very fast. So I'm going to give it some time to dissolve, and after it uh, must have dissolved, uh, I'm going to shake it a bit. Okay, then uh, I'll wrap it into these uh, pickers. So after pouring into this because I'll test with my meter. All right, must have dissolved. All right, let me go. Okay. Okay. So let me see. All right. 
right. So I have uh, it here. So I'm going to test one. Of, I'm going to make a cell. So cell is going to be one. All right, so I'll be inserting my letters here. Okay. And copper versus the letter. Let me see. We are having a reading here. If you can see very well, we are having a 1.2 volts here. I'm going to lose it. Let's see if you, you can do it. 1.2 volts there. So I'm going to lose it. Okay. So I'm losing it. I'm going to attach a uh, little light to it. But however, it's not going to work because the voltage of because of the voltage rating of the LED light. I'm going to use a blue LED light. So uh, the 1.2 volts will not be able to power it. So I will double this. Uh, I will make it a battery. I will make another cell. So to do so, I have a junction of aluminium and copper. So this uh, copper will go into this one. The aluminium will go into this one. And uh, I will insert this one into this. All right. So This is a red one. It was able to bring it out a bit, uh, but not so bright. Not so bright. Okay. I think we are having some issues with contact here. Not so bright. Okay. I have to attend to the junction here. We're having some issues with the junction here. All right. It's quite bright now. Okay, this is a red bulb. I was able to put it on. Let me try this uh, other one. Very, very faint because it's a blue bulb. Okay, it requires uh, more voltage. This one is red, it's working. So I'm going to make more cells. So I'm going to attach more junctions to it. Okay, I have to remove this. So let me add more. Right. So this is the right way. This is um uh, right, let me bring them close. Then um, Okay. And let me try connecting the bulb. Let's see the results. Okay. The bulb is very, very bright this time around. The bulb is very, very bright. We've been able to test it with a, a red bulb. I'm also going to test it with a, a blue LED light. So it's coming on. So it's working. Uh, let me try connecting them in series. Let's see what. Of the other one, okay. There's dimmer. If both of them are shining together, dimmer now. All right. So that's for the blue bulb. Right. 
Bob is bright. The Bob is bright. Okay. Bob is bright. All right. So that's how to make a, a simple cell or a simple battery. So the one thing to put in mind is to use um, an electrolyte which will have uh, which is quite strong and also make your junctions junction of uh, both uh, aluminum and uh, copper the, the metal tubes will be different of different type to be able to get uh, very good results so that's the end of this uh, experiment uh, I hope you, you learned how to make a, a simple battery thank you Thank you.